Yo, so where we at, B? Huh, Westside Radio, all day. Let's go! Portion of chips and lamb donner and mm. just things that's gonna clog up my arteries mm. if I carry on. All this energy will go if I carry on eating that stuff. There you go. Oh, back, back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. Oh, thank you so much for coming. So I have to say, you are Nigerian, right? All day. Okay, because imagine if I got that wrong. Now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, you remember your whole name. You do that a lot, don't you? Yeah, you have give to. it to them real. To, boy, my life is real and my names are real, so yeah. Uh, playing instruments, okay. we had piano, uh -huh. that didn't work, then we went to flute, wow. that didn't really work, then we went to clarinet. Wow. So I'm saying, how <laughs> did you stay and not get bored? Oh my days, I was bored as a kid. I mean, <laughs> he gave, my dad gave me my first keyboard and I broke it, you know, I just pulled the keys out, I was too young to care. Then he gave me a guitar, he told me a few chords, but I didn't take it seriously until years later, when I really got into music, like, this is what I want to do. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was He's thought. got some brand new clothes. He said he ain't messing with some. Oh, wait! <laughs> on a pro! Wow. That's ranting. Oh, wow. Nice, nice. And we're nice, messing nice, them with guesses nice, nice. the Wow, no, no, this way, this way. You did your thing. You did your thing. You slayed. So, yeah, yeah, these are the people I grew up on, and they just really. It was still new. There was no name to it back then. It was just music. That was for the for us. Yeah. And for that it just sucked me in. I used to be at Strat Stratford Rex every weekend, you know, until the fight started and you have to run for it. The place where you like it's like even if you're not eighteen you can low key get in. Exactly. That's where exactly. I had my eighteenth yeah. birthday. It Are you was serious? my first club experience. Wow, how do you um, find it? I never went back. <laughs> and the only reason why we did it is because a few of us weren't eighteen, so I knew that that's the only club that would let them go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, used yeah. to <laughs> Brentwood class, oh, and then I go to Stratford Rex, and I'm like, oh, okay. What, what are you from? And then hearing them, I was like, what was that? He spat straight fire, and from fire. there, I just want to hear another one. And then we started sharing bars back and forth, and that's how our friendship started developing, that real friendship. And then a few years later, while me and him were, you know, going around doing shows, we met Feedem at another show. Quiet dude, you know Feedem. He's really quiet, calm. Yeah. Laid back. He embarrassed me once. Yeah. He <laughs> played Snog Marry Me and Boy and he told me he's not doing nothing to nobody. <laughs> yeah, that's he's my not bro. even my Beyonce. That's my bro, man. He's <laughs> real to the core. He is who he is. And I remember he, he got on stage and it was something else. You know how a guy so calm could blow up the stage with so much energy? And it just stood out to me from there. I was like, I that's destiny there. Yeah, yeah, I was like, who is this guy? And then from there, we started seeing him at other shows. You know, after he got off, we're like, yeah, nice one, man, well done, respect. And we just started seeing him at other shows. And he's, we didn't realize he spotted us like we spotted him. But in the pool's faster than me. He went to connect with Freedom. So they started doing stuff. And then I remember him calling me in the pool, and he's like, yo, I'm joining FMG. I'm like, all right, cool. And as I was doing my stuff, he's like, yo, yo, just like, you should, you should check this out as well. And then from there, I started speaking to Freedom and seeing what the movement was about. Mm. Yeah, man. It was, it was crazy for you, right? I was in, yeah, I was in. Well, how? Um, boy, it's like you try, you work hard to build a church because I'm, I'm a functional person in my church. And when people are leaving and you start hearing the reasons they're leaving, and it's not always the best terms, it does bother you. Affect you. you. Yeah, it does bother you. Because I come from a small church, so we're all family, very, very small. So at one point, it just really hit me like, man, relationships falling apart, friends passing away things are happening. It was just a lot of mad stuff happening, man. Would and you say you were depressed during that time? I don't like to use the word depressed because depression is a serious word. I think mm. it's thrown around too easily. Mm. But for me, I think it was just I couldn't find any happiness at any point. I, a lot of people say that I'm a jovial person, a smiler, not a fan. At, at one point, I was forcing smiles and trying to cover up because I didn't want people asking me what was wrong. And I was very snappy to the point where I was always angry. I remember coming off the train. I imagine I'm supposed to be a Christian guy, right? I get off the train and accidentally knock the phone off someone's hand. And immediately I'm like, oh, sorry, man. I didn't mean to. And he started swearing at me. And I just lost myself. Jacket came off. I'm like, look, if you want to go, let's go right now. I'm in the mood for it. I need to re release some stress. Let's go. Obviously, the guy backed down. But as I walked away, I realized I failed in yeah. my lifestyle because I thought, wait a minute. If this guy swung, I would have swung too. And then it would have gone, who knows where it would have gone. 
yeah, so things were just going wrong. Things weren't going right. And I was just, I, I remember I was asking God, like, what is this? Because I take my faith seriously. And each one was an answer at a different point. Wow. I'm out of the dark So each now, song but... was an answer to what you were going through at that point. Exactly. So maybe exactly. he was exactly. taking you through that to get to Boy, here. I hear that. <laughs> Why does he do that? My days, there's so many. Why movies. can't you just give me the song? I don't need yeah, the drama. <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real, for real, for real. We all ask that question too, man. I honestly think if, if anyone brought it, I wouldn't let it go. Whether it's even saying the wrong word, that was it. That was enough. <laughs> and that was the stage I was in. And I realized, wow, man, even at home, can you imagine my sister's calling me up and saying, look, uh, we don't like the way you've been treating us. You, you're just a dark cloud in the house. People don't even know how to approach you. And it started making me think. I was like, what? what? What does that mean? But sometimes you're angry and you don't even realize that you're acting out because you're just, that's your norm now. And that's what Arena was really. It was just like, why am I getting upset about at my loved ones? They're not the issue. Is what I'm going through. Oh, so cute! <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't done that in a while. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm so glad that you've got out of this though, because. Thank you, thank but then you. at the same time, sometimes people do want to hear some angry, aggressive stuff. And I actually saw that in your video. Wow. It seemed like you were angry. It seemed like you had a lot of energy as well. Yeah, and I was like, ah, I wish I'm glad I was not there. Yeah, man, it was fun. I got to let loose some energy. I was dashing bottles in the video. Indopol was doing it too, it wasn't just me, it was fun just to <laughs> smash stuff up. But yeah, it was fun. It was oh, fun. amazing. Yeah. So before we move on quickly, I just want to play a little game. Okay. I am into games because I can win them all. Uh, okay. Don't be mad when I do beat you. Oh, wow. All right, cool. I'm going to ask you three questions for right. time. Right. And you have to give me the answer. Okay. Okay. So, which famous grime artist yeah. recently became a chief in his state? Oh, that's easy. Skepta, all day. I gave you really okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, which female grime artist is the biggest Wakanda fan? What? Wait, 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 wait. Did she say that? Or did people say that? That's alright. The biggest Wakanda fan, grand grime artist. I would say. Oh, this is a long shot, you know. Five. Wiley. All right, all right, all right. Lioness. Let me just say lioness. Oh my Ooh. god, I it. <laughs> <laughs> it was Lady Lesher. Oh, I you was gonna heard, say that! You heard a Black Panther song? Yeah, I was Come gonna say oh, that. Wakanda gonna, forever. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say that as well. Okay, last one. Yeah. How much did Jay Z give Kanye for his tour? A pound? I don't know. Really? Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. No cheating in the studio. Is it? No Google. Alright, cool. Uh, <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll, all right, I'll say half a mil. Okay. Well, he really gave him 20, so... Wow. Uh, wow. I think I won. Uh, Did I win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won. Did I win? <laughs> oh. No, don't worry. Next time you'll win. I'm joking. Expect, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Expect a lot of music videos, a lot of songs, and my next project, and the headline show coming soon in the next few months. But just tune into my website, you'll see everything. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> What's the website called? www.yahwayunique.co.uk Yahweh, take away the first H Y A W E H, unique.co.uk. Oh. Everything's on there. And where can they listen to your music? Oh, wow. Once again, uh, on yeah, Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, my music is on all e stores and platforms. So, yeah, look me up.